Hello world. Anyway, I built my Wonderland. Uh, sitting in quarantine, all my Legos and stuff that I was talking about that I couldn't paint on my videos. So yeah, this is everything in this room. Got my trains. Three going at the same time, and I can move them around. Now, here's all my controllers for all everything that's going on. So, I got the roller coaster going. And then it's got a, an actual sensor that'll pick it back up, and it will start back over on its own here in a second. And there it goes. And it does its own thing. And there they go. Whee! <laughs> and it hits the chain again and then it will start back over because I got the motion sensor uh, motor. Then we got the Tower of Fear. The Tower of Fear is done like this on this remote. Now I started it, now it should go. Okay, and then it's gonna go again. There it is for that ride. It does different combinations, just like at Disney World, the Tower of Fear, but the haunted house for Lego. Then you have the carousel that's going around with the Disney castle. It's all completed. Then the windmill, the, the actual Vesta's windmill that's all discontinued along with the treehouse that's discontinued in the bait shop and uh, some stuff is uh, continued here. Uh, the Barracuda Bay, Pirates of the Caribbean. My airport is over here and this actual train will back up right to here and that's with this yellow remote right here that I have. So anyway, with this yellow remote, I can go ahead and then take it to the airport simply by stopping the train and then hitting the switch and then reversing the train and then it will back right into the actual airport and then it can back back out and go forward that's as far as the room i could go i couldn't go anymore and then i can actually move the trains from rail to rail the mixer ride this was a hard one to find um it's a truck basically and the trucks are in there the mixture truck and the actual other truck that has all these other carnival things with the pirate roller coaster, which is right here. It's just a finger coaster. It's not an actual motorized. You push it with your fingers and use your imagination. Uh, then you have the Skull Island and everything, Sesame Street, Winnie the Pooh. Then you got more pirates and stuff like that from the creator set of uh, Skull Island and then the uh, pirate ship with the skull on the front. And then what it makes of the theater. So I had to buy three kits on that one. So on top of that, then we got the Harry Potter train, the Disney train, the houses of the uh, winter collection, and some of the other stuff, the Flintstones, the Disney train station, Speaking of that, let's go ahead and speed it up. There. There we go. Give it a couple whistles. Speed it up a little bit. Passing Wonderland from the Disney station. Going, and then you got Stranger Things. And then you got the Ninja Go. Spider-Man with the Daily Bugle. The Carousel Ride. Okay, now if you want to redirect trains, this is where the actual engineering comes in. We'll stop it right here. Right on target, right at Disney. Okay, and then now we got this train we're going to bring out. So we'll hit the switches. 
and now it's going to switch out to this track right over here and it's going to carry out from this part of the room and we're going to bring this train over to this part of the room so here it goes it's going and then i will stop the train there and now i'm going to bring out this train here the cargo so how do i do that i stop it right where it's at I'll continue, I'll hit it a little faster. Stop. And then we'll back it up right here. And I got the track separated, so therefore... Well, not so I don't want to separate it. There's a switch back there. Oops. <laughs> there. And then we're going to back the train up. And it goes right in front of the window so people can see it if they're driving by my house. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So now it's going back there. Now, the actual Disney train is going to move forward. And then, here. Um, then I gotta move the, uh, this one over. Switch. Okay, and then positive. Almost had a derail. Okay, stop. Then this train is gonna go over here. Plus, it's going all the way to this track now, in front of the window. And there it is, stopping and then going. There it goes, behind the town, and now the track is switched. The track is switched. And then we're gonna put this freight train over here and run it over there. So we'll speed up this one. And we'll move Disney train. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and move the uh, freight train, cargo. Back it up. Oh, wrong switch. There we go. And then we'll switch it. The track. And the track is ready to go. And then start it. There's Mickey. Hey, Mickey. <laughs> Hello. So anyway, this is all what I could do. And then also, then you got the back of the buildings. And then what that looks like in the back. The gas station, along with the uh, Parisian restaurant, the detective shop, the diner, the corner cafe, I have to bring, I have to bring this uh, table out and move the train out so I can bring the buildings out so you can see more. As this is all just a custom, I built this all in a week, by the way. But not the Legos. That was a couple of years. But the actual tables and everything and setting up all the models that were pre-built, it took a week. So anyway, then uh, we got the uh, gr green grocer, <clears throat> and then we got the corner cafe right here and these are all original legos along with the bank the police station the courthouse then you got the bookstore then you have the town square then you have the pet shop which is these two items and then you have the new hotel that's out that they just came out with this year for 2022. Which is a beautiful piece. And then you have the fire station. And then over here, I put with Disney, the theater, which looks like right off Hollywood, in Hollywood, California, it looks exactly like the Chinese theater, but they call it the theater with Lego. So anyway, that's that. 
and I've been to the Chinese theater. I'm sure a lot of you others have in the world as well. It's an interesting place. <laughs> very, very fast paced uh, street, I must say, in Hollywood. So as far as this, um, the, uh, the uh, shops and stuff, which is the um, shopping emperor, em imperial or whatever. Anyway, that's in there as well, which is the original buildings. Mickey and Minnie and then the, the elves and everything. Here comes the train. My Lego world map. It took me three and a half days to build. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. And then I got one more thing to reveal to you. The Titanic, I built that in three and a half days. And that was 46 bags to complete as far as 9,090 pieces. And I really did it in three and a half days. And how do I do stuff like that? And how do I create stuff so quickly? It's really with true self-discipline. And you sit there and you sort and don't think about anything else except for what you're doing and sorting those pieces and creating with a clear mind no different than when I fly out there. And you just have a clear mind, you don't think about anything and that way you have no distractions and with no distractions, you create. <laughs> it's amazing without the mental blockage, you know? You gotta get rid of the mental blockage to be able to be free. So that's my message here. So, you know, for the world of all good things, be free. Yeah, I got, um, basically all the mario stuff down here protected underneath the city that you see so therefore what i'm going to do is build like a, a sh like a table shelf that will come out and slide and then the mario game you can actually come out it'll slide out a little bit and you can play in there and then also like the truck and all that it's kind of dark in there but um there's more legos the motorcycle the rapture there's even the mac truck way back there i mean there's a lot of stuff. And then uh, more Mario, the space shuttle, the piano, the shoe, ship in the bottle, friends, set up the owl, which is the uh, winter owl from Harry Potter. And then there's a chess uh, thing way back there in the dark. And then um, the cantina from Star Wars, a Jeep, and then more friends and queer eye for a straight guy. And then my ships from Pirates of the Caribbean that are all side by side, but they're in there. And then Dead Man Tells No Tales all the way in the back. I mean, it's just so much. And then the satellite, which is the uh, actual, not satellite, the space station. And then a couple sailboats. So anyway, that's uh, all my sets so far. And as far as it goes, at least I was able to show you my physical therapy that pulled me out of all my injuries from kiteboarding and kite lane boarding and skydiving from the, my past and also from the system of what they did to me. So anyway, we see everything, what I created, and it works. And that's the point. And I'm still creating and I'll show you uh, the Titanic next. All right, also I did the Titanic that I was telling you about. So anyway, I, this took three and a half days to do for me. 46 bags. And um, as far as it goes, I just sat there and sorted pieces for three and a half days, nonstop. I had a couple breaks, you know, and I did eat and I did sleep, but barely, because I barely sleep as it is anyway. But as far as it goes, <laughs> here is my... Uh, piece of work of Titanic hopefully I can start sleeping again because I've been so busy during this lockdown I mean this lockdown hasn't stopped me at all if anything I've all I've only gained I've gained a lot more from the lockdown as far as the, the virus still out there so it really doesn't hurt me so other than that I'm just out having fun playing with toys
All right, and then this is my final project right here. I have to move all these Legos and build tables like I did in that other room and display all these pieces. I've even got Legos behind the door. I mean, this is crazy. I got Star Wars picture in Marilyn Monroe, Falcon Millennium, Imperial Starship. All right, well, I really, really appreciate y'all watching and um, Anyway, y'all have a great day and continue your positive activities at home, wherever you are, somewhere in the world. And just always stay positive as I've always said along in all my other videos. There's a reason why.